Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls 2. Uh, just a couple technical notes right out of the gate. Uh, if you have an eye for frame rates, you might notice that I lowered my recording frame rate from 60 to 30. That's because I was getting several hiccups in the last episode, which you also probably noticed. And I, I'm not sure if it's a software thing or a my PC thing, but I, I don't know. It... If I had to guess, uh, my computer's just not powerful enough to record consistently at 60 frames per second. Which is unfortunate, but, you know, such is life. So, now we're trying to record it in 30, see if we can get anything better out of that. Also, I, uh, hopefully you didn't notice, because I brightened it up in post. Hopefully. But it was a it was a bit dark. I didn't realize how much darker the recording was than what I was actually looking at. So I adjusted, I upped the brightness in the game a bit. So hopefully that's not such a deal. Now, boring stuff out of the way, we will go through the forest of fallen giants. Uh, like I said in the last episode, I like this place. I think it's a good start to the game. Unfortunately, maybe a bit misrepresentative. It's not a super complex level, at least as far as the history of the Soul series goes, but uh, it, it is unfortunately a little bit deceptive. It does have more shortcuts and complexity than a lot of areas in the game. A shortcoming lots of people have pointed out before me, and I'm sure I won't be the last. Broken straight sword, not much use in that. Let's let this guy get up. Just screw him. Alright, now you may have noticed this guy from up there was shooting at us. Let's go see what he's got. Nope. Nope. Out of my way. I always forget. Yep, okay. A. Now, now. Hey, stop aiming at where I'm going to be. Short bow. That's always good to have. Especially in a no magic run, there are some instances where I'm going to want to use range sort short sword. I don't suppose that's better than my broadsword. Nope. They actually start you off with a pretty powerful weapon here. Alright, now. There's a jump to a ledge with some items. For whatever reason, I'm not very good at making this jump. But I don't remember what the items are. So, I'm gonna try it. If I fail once, that'll be that, and I'm just gonna leave it. But let's, uh, yeah. Ah, there we go. Excellent. Stuck the landing. Soul of a nameless soldier and a throwing knife. Good stuff. Alright, now what do you say? Let's challenge this Hade Knight sitting up here. Now, the Hade Knights are. If I'm correct, which uh, I'm pretty confident in this, in having read this, uh, they are knights of the no longer present kingdom of Hade, who are kind of just uh, chilling around Drang Lake, waiting for one last final battle. They don't. They're not mad. They don't. They don't want to bother you. But if you uh, if you bother them, bother them. They're uh, they're down for a fight. And they give you some pretty good equipment, so let's see what this guy has. Well, I know what weapon he's going to drop for us, but let's see what he's got in terms of fighting prowess. Alright. Come at me. Whoa! That was really sudden. And I didn't realize I was blocking. What is with this stamina regen? Am I overburdened? Oh, now that shield is really starting to worry me. That shield with the red border there. 
I have no idea what it's what it's doing to affect my play. All right, let's uh let's heal up here. One, two, no. Come on, one. Make up your mind. One. All right, fine. We're just gonna finish you then. All right, the Hate Knight Sword. It's actually pretty good. Or at least, I liked it. I used it for my whole first run of Dark Souls 2 in combination with the Fire Long Sword. Which we should also get in this episode. Hey! No. Thank you. This stamina region is killing me. What is going on? I really need the Chloranthi ring. Thank goodness it's in this area. Wow, all these guys stagger in one hit. It's like, why do I even care? Oh, because I have no stamina, and it comes back at a snail's pace, to say the least. Oh, no, oh, no, couldn't roll away from that. No firebombs here. Take out this guy. Hey! Suck on this guy. Plunging attack for the finish. Excellent. Wait, what am I doing? There's more here. There's an item down here, and a guy who thinks he can hide from us, trying to guard it. Alright, a buckler that's a shield of some sort that I don't intend to use. I haven't used a shield in a run of Dark Souls 1 or 2 since, like, I don't know, March, maybe? I might, to, uh, to kind of go with the... Because I intend to, I intend to do, like, a, a strength build. Uh, I intend to w eventually wield, like, an ultra great sword or something. I always pick the, uh, faster, more dodgy type play style, usually. And I really want to do something different this time in that regard. So maybe I will take, like, a big old tower shield or something. We'll see. Here is our second and main bonfire for Forest of the Fallen Giants. You know what? We should rest at that. Because my weapon is almost out of durability, and I need it to not be. Alright, now from Malentia here, you can, you can learn some interesting things about the land. We're going to talk to her a bunch so that after we beat the boss of the area, she moves back to Majula. Ah, yes, there it is. Alright, and then we're gonna buy this Pharos Lockstone from her while we have the souls for it on hand, as it is a rather expensive in the item in the early game, and we are going to need it to get the Chloranthi Ring, which I was just talking about, which I definitely want because it increases your stamina regen rate, which I was just complaining about. Now, uh, this door is actually locked, but as you just saw it, you can totally break through it. Doesn't even take that much. What? That is a weird location for a summon sign. Alright. Reward thorough players, I suppose. Small leather shield. Not gonna use that. Repair powder. Definitely might use that at some point or another. That guy thought he could trick us. Nothing else in this room. Once again, there's kind of the door roll that you can do. And this is why we came up here. Estus Flask Shard! Excellent. And the small white sign soapstone. Which is an interesting item. Slash new mechanic that they added. Grab a divine blessing from this tree root. Branch, root, whatever. Repair our weapon again. And now let's head into kind of a... A little side area with a lot of fun stuff going on. 
Hey! That's not what I was trying to do. Hey! Don't go knocking me off. I've really got to stop. Why? My guy really wants to... Hold on. Is that why my stamina regen is so low? Why is he auto-blocking? Don't... Don't be blocking. Is there... Is my controller... Holding on to the... Left bumper for some reason? I guess we're not... We're, we're just not gonna two-hand for the rest of this. I'll, uh... I don't think I should need that for the rest of this episode. I'll take a look at it afterwards. I definitely think that's the that's the problem cuz yeah, okay, that's how your stamina should regenerate. I have no idea why I'm blocking perpetually. All right, work our way down here to the bottom of this kind of uh pit or gorge or I don't know what would you call this valley. Eh, whatever. Lots of hollow infantry soldiers. Good place to farm their armor, I guess, if you're really into that kind of thing. Alright, now with that... I don't think there's anything over here for us n Oh, I lied. There is something. You life gems. Always good. There's, of course, that item pick up up there, but we won't get to that until the, like, the very end of the game. It'll just sit there tantalizing us until then. This cave I actually have, like, never seen until this past weekend when my roommate started a fresh run and he found it. I've played through this game a few, several times already since it's come out and I can't believe I never noticed that other cave. You want to come in this one, but only for a little bit, because these guys try to ambush you if you stay in there too long. Also because there's that lizard at the end of the hallway who's throwing up fireballs at you. One, two, three. Let's try and sneak in this door here. Alright, beast buddy. And this is the Fire Long Sword I was talking about. Let's see how that stacks up. Uh, it does more damage technically, but it's split damage. I don't quite know how any enemy, enemy resistances are in this area. Yeah, I don't know. We'll stay with the broadsword. Okay, and that cleans out this little pit here. Mostly, the, the main attraction here is the Fire Long Sword I just picked up. Once again, pretty pretty good piece of equipment. I, uh, I, I dual-wielded that and the Hade Knight Sword all the way to the end of my first playthrough. Hey, hey, you can't afford to miss the one. You don't have enough stamina for that. What you got? Nope, I was trying to get the item here. Foot Soldier Shield. Good enough, I suppose. Am I still? Why on earth? Why? Hold on, if I put a shield in here... Yeah, I'm always locking. Okay, yeah, it's definitely a controller issue. I don't know what's going on. I'll have to. I'll. I'll look at the. I'll look into that. All right, rest of this bonfire, and now we have another thing to get from Valencia, which is nope, wrong category. Lenagrass key. We're gonna take this back to Majula and upgrade our. Uh, oh my goodness. Sword Majigger. Bastard Sword? No. Broad, broad Sword. 
I'm mostly confident. Broadsword, yep. Gonna upgrade the broadsword. Open this up. There's a treasure chest back here. I'm actually pretty confident it contains a short bow. Yep, already dropped one of those from an enemy. Not yet. But first. Let me set up. Right. All we gotta do for that, just come sit at this bonfire. And we'll use the Titanite Shard we already have to upgrade this, because I'm not sure when the first, like, big, uh... Yeah, he's kind of a curmudgeon. I don't know when the first, uh, big sword we're gonna get is. So, yeah. Still haven't leveled up. I thought I would have at this point, but... I always, your my first batch of souls anyway. My first several thousand are always taken up by the the Pharos Lockstone and then Lenigras Key. Oh, I thought we actually like knocked him off there. Hey, okay, that swing didn't connect. That door is unopenable from this side. We will get back to that door later. Now when we go to pick up this item, this guy thinks he's fooled us, but he hasn't. This door is openable from this side, but it's locked. We will worry about that later as well. This door, also locked. Lots of locked doors in this initial area. Alright, now this is a nice big room. Usually, I like to wait until this guy and this guy. Well, the guy that was there. I like them to come after me first, so I can just chop them down, they won't be chasing me. And I can go about the rest of the area relatively as I please. Which in this case means dropping here, taking out this guy who's trying to ambush us. An extra torch! Excellent! Those are always good. Whoa there, champ. What do you think you're shooting at? Hey! That's no fair. You can't use a bow and arrow. It's cheating. Life gem, this guy's gonna be a pain in the ass on the right. He's gonna be firing at us for a while. Jump! There it is! Not a sneak attack, but a backstab nonetheless. Nope, nothing too interesting. We'll go up that ladder later. Watch out here! for that boulder. Even a light tap, it'll take you completely out. Human effigy. There's nothing down there except the pit the boulder falls into. A life gem. And here is Kale the, ca the cartographer. A rather interesting fellow with a very useful item for us. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just daydreaming. My name is Kale. I am a traveler like yourself. I'm navigating the continent to create a map. You don't say. Why cartography, you ask? Well, that's a good question. When I first came into this forsaken land, it was... Um, a, a curse? Uh, something about a curse? <laughs> How embarrassing. I seem to have lost my focus. Uh huh. Oh shoot! Oh well, it wasn't I important. This land some time ago, Drangling, the Lost Kingdom. It sounded so romantic. Have you seen the jeweler? Oh, there's a rather spacious mansion there. I've made it my temporary home. 
well, as something of a squatter. Inside the mansion, I found a strange map, like none I'd ever seen. I believe that it's a map of Dragon. You're now, probably I'm right. Traveling the land to prove. Yes. Yes, that's it. That's why I came to the king. Wait. No. That wasn't it. Mm. Then what? I don't see. Were you looking for that? Wonderful. Then you are fascinated by maps. Yeah, man. Just like me. Absolutely. Shame on you. You should have told me before. Here, take this. Ah, good. That's what we needed from him. My first time through this game, well, I mean, it still does a little bit, but especially my first time through the game, his dialogue really creeped me out. Like, why, why am I here? Oh, wait, it was... No, wait, that wasn't it. Just, it's, it's very unnerving. I don't know. Having so little mental agency, I guess is the term I'm looking for, that you, you don't even know why you're doing some of the things you're doing. It, uh, weirds me out, man. Look at this guy, who decided that he wanted to chill in this house. Thought he could hide from me. No, sir. Alright, we're gonna grab this. Another Titanite Shard! Very good! We will reach the other side of that gate eventually. You never actually, it's not actually a gate that's a misnomer. You can't raise that. It doesn't go away ever. It's just a little, uh, I don't really know what to call it, but it lets you see through to the other side. All right backstab this guy because he's probably gonna try and kill me hey you don't get a third attack that's malarkey Ooh, a firebomb that's actually gonna be very useful very soon now we're gonna climb up here and something interesting is gonna happen There's this giant eagle, or crow, or whatever you want to call it, that drops off this guy, who is, in fact, a boss. But we're gonna go fight him later, on his actual stage. You don't get anything extra for fighting him early, and I'm really just likely to die. Fortunately, he doesn't follow you off this platform. As you can see, if I had stayed up there to look at it, you would see he just kind of disappears. And then he never comes back. He never comes back to that platform. Just that first time, which eh, is kind of disappointing. I think it would have been cool if he followed you a bunch more to different areas. Or showed up more than once, at least. Alright, now we have a very handy shortcut here in this wall. What? I know. But if we throw one of these... Ba-boom! Right to our bonfire. Good stuff, right? Now, I'm trying to think... Do I have the durability? Yeah, I think I have the durability. I really want to... Uh, there was no point in falling there. Oh, well. There are three pads you can see here. Through that gate with that guy next to it, to the left here, and to the right. We're gonna go to the right before we go back to the bonfire. Now, in case the three giant, or the three or four ballistas pointed at you didn't tip you off, this is a trap room. And these guys were all chilling back here behind them, getting ready to shoot giant arrows at whatever poor schmuck thought he could just come in here and grab this stuff. Fair enough, I suppose. Now if you look around back here, there's a nice ladder. This is the first booby-trapped chest in the game. It's a little bit random what trap it is. Ah, good. Poison one is really easy. 
just immediately roll away. It dissipates. Good stuff. Another Titanite Shard. Excellent. And this is why we bought that Lockstone. I'm going to put it in there. Reveals this secret hole in the wall. And if you know where those holes are, you still need the Lockstone. The hitting it, even if you know where it is, won't, won't do anything. This nets us a Titanite Slab, which is what you use to upgrade a normal weapon all to its maximum level, to plus 10. And a Chloranthy Ring. Just what we were looking for. Increases stamina recovery rate. It's not as pertinent since I figured out why my stamina was draining so much, but yeah. Anyway, this is interesting. This door does not open from this side. Now in Dark Souls, that's usually code for, hey, you're going to come back here later, but from a different room, and you're going to open this door, and hey, shortcut, and it's going to be magical. Here, what it means is, try knocking. And the hollows on the other side will hear you knock, and open the door for you. How polite, right? I think this would have been... Well, you know what? It wouldn't have made a whole lot of sense to put it in more than once. But, I, I don't know. I wish it had gotten a little bit more use. Maybe, as a mechanic. Uh, eh, maybe not. I don't know. It is an interesting little one-off thing that can happen. And I like that. Drinking Estus. I can't remember what's in here. Life Ring and a large Titanite Shard. That will definitely be handy. Life Ring may just raise its maximum HP. I was at maximum, so you can see that gap there where the difference is. It's not a whole lot of extra HP. <laughs> but that's fine. I got four ring slots and two rings, so I might as well wear both of them. And I'm kind of tempted to tackle this other area as well, but no, let's let's go back. Let's not only work we're not only gonna sit at the bonfire, we're gonna go back to Majula and level up a little bit. And upgrade our sword again. Ah, speak of the devil. Titanite slab. Alright, first let's see what Lenegrass needs for this upgrade. Nothing to repair. Sure. Okay. I'll be around. Oh, I'll be back, Lenegrass. Don't you worry. Is that a show? Here. To see luck. However, oh yeah, I forgot we also came back for this. Oh shoot, that's not all. We now have the mansion key. And guess what? We can get another Estus Flask shard from that even. Pull through. This is a nice library. Ooh, look at that big one. Shoot, I didn't need to buy the Pharos Lockstone. I could have just come and gotten this one. Oh well, we're gonna use that one later as well. There's a, it, it's, it's interesting. There's a lot more contraptions than Lockstones in the early game. And then in the late game, you're just sitting around with like a dozen Lockstones and nothing to use them on. There are quite a few useful things here in the mansion. Three more Titanite Shards and three torches. Wow! I can upgrade my weapon again, and I'm going to. Because why not? Titanite Shards, obviously they drop a dime a dozen. Here's the map he was talking about of Drang Lake. We are somewhere on this coast around here, if I recall correctly. But here is the really cool part of this mansion. Sometimes this skeleton really messes with people. It is a little tougher, has a little bit more health than some of the enemies you fought so far. 
I guess deals a little bit more damage too, but I don't know, whatever. He always drops an effigy, and then there's always an Estus Flask shard here. This is interesting. This is a Shattered Lord Vessel, which you should know at least something about what that is if you've played or seen me play Dark Souls 1. Uh, yeah, what's that doing there? Who knows? Actually, maybe someone does and I just haven't watched the video. Uh, a, a long sword? Wait, that's not what's usually in there. Um, hmm. Funny note, uh, they add a skeleton down there for every new game plus iteration you're in. So, like, new game plus five, there's five skeletons, etc. I hear it can be, become quite a party. If you get up high enough. Alright. So much to do here. Goodness. Gonna reinforce our weapon again. La do I... See, large titanite shards are a little harder to come by. And I definitely don't know that I'm gonna be using this weapon forever. So let's maybe hold off on that upgrade. Yes, yes, yes. Hundreds of years ago, in an ages long past, when ancient kings ruled the earth. I get it, Emerald Herald. Um, you know what? More endurance. Hey. Wait. Oh, I only have 500. Ah. Uh, oh, wait. No, I don't. Hold on. What did I. There. Perfect. Okay. I don't. Maybe that was what was going on last time and I'm just dumb and I didn't notice it. I don't know! Wait, hey! Hey now! I meant get out of the menu. Alright, back to the forest. Valencia, still chilling there. Now you can pretty much ignore that guy up there anymore. Hey, 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 hey! Really? Really? A tiny sliver of health? Whatever. Okay, we can ignore the room on the right. They won't come out after us or anything. And here is our buddy, Pate. Pate is a fun guy. Let's talk to him. Hello there. Traveling all alone in these treacherous times. Well, I hope you have a very good reason. Oh, hogwash. Who am I to judge? <laughs> My name is Pate. I journey hither and thither on a sort of treasure hunt, you might call it. Be careful out there. There's talk of unsavory bandits who prey upon travelers like yourself. Oh, yes. You Seems like a nice guy. If you go any farther. There's treasure in there for certain, but the entrance locks from behind. I saw the same design earlier, and it's the same contraption, I'm sure. I was with this warrior, you see, and he insisted that he go inside first. <laughs> the rather brusque fellow tried to swipe the loot for himself, but it trapped him inside. I still have the gent's ring. I do hope he wasn't harmed. <laughs> I'll leave this one to you. I'm worried about what might be inside. I'll leave this one. That is Pate. I like him. I really like his voice. I, uh, I know the actor was someone maybe more prominent in, uh, Britain or in uh, in the UK. I'm not entirely confident what I remember of that. As you can see, the gate did indeed shut behind us. Use a life gem just to be safe. And there are plenty of more people who are gonna try and mess us up in here. But we won't let them. They might get in a hit or two. But at the end of the day, we will come out victorious. 
Oh yes, believe you me. Hey. Alright, get your final stab in there. Why does your shield have to block everything? Aromatic ooze that adds magic damage to our main hand weapon for a little bit. Alright. Uh, hey! Whoa! I didn't think that... I didn't remember a second one being on the staircase. Hey, calm down a little bit, okay, buddy? Going a little spear crazy there. Good lord, that shield! The perfect defense! Our, hey, hey, I'm right here, okay? It's not necessary. Alright. Yay, we come out on top. Now, all in all, there's little point to that, that whole area, except that having gone through it... Well, I see you managed to escape. I hope that brave warrior didn't come a cropper either. Be careful out there. There's talk of unsavory bandits. Yes, you mentioned that. Oh. Here we go. It's undead to call out for help to one another, across the fissures between... With luck. Somebody will lend you a hand. He just gave us the White Sign Soapstone, which we use to put down our summon sign so other people can maybe summon us into their game to help them. I don't know that I'm going to be doing any, uh, any sun broing on the Let's Play unless that's something you guys are interested in, in which case, please let me know. And I would be happy to. It's something I enjoy doing. Uh, but yeah, I don't intend to do a lot of natural sun broing, but it's always a nice item to get. Hey! What did I say about fire bombs? Not even once. Alright, you can see uh, good old steel ninja turtle over there. We're gonna deal with him in a minute. First, I'm going to cut down this guy who's sleeping against a wall. And then this tree scared the hell out of me when I first saw it. I, it the whole time I was in here, I was like, it's going to come alive. It is, just you wait. It's going to beat the hell out of me. Now we're on the other side of this kind of fissure that you can see there. And we came up here because you can see these guys in the windows. If we just try and fight this turtle guy, they'll be throwing firebombs at me. And I don't much appreciate that. So I'm here to tell these guys to go to hell. Oh, oops. That was a mistake. That was a, that was a mistake. Okay, but I'm alive. Alright. Wow. I, uh, that went better than I thought it would. Just randomly falling down into the middle of three enemies in a tight space. Hollow Soldier Gauntlets. Wow. You, uh, you look a little stuck there, buddy. Here's a treasure chest containing, I have no idea, Mail Breaker and Infilm Tree Helm. Mail Breaker is a, uh, like a like a foil or a rapier type weapon very fast you point you stab with it instead of a uh, slashing or something like that I uh I'm, I'm I compulsively try to collect everything so I really want to make one more effort at this item on the shelf here but if I miss it again I'm not gonna spend 10 minutes on a consumable where uh, we'll move on Oh my goodness. Okay, whatever. It's not worth it. On to Turtle Man! Okay, good start. Ow, cheese again. Okay. Let's all calm down. Good. Give me time to heal. 
Very good. Three! There it is. Okay. I knew I could get him before he brought the hammer down. Run out here and immediately to the right to pick up Life Gem and a Homeward Bone. This is another locked door. We'll get to those after this first boss we're about to fight. I don't appreciate those stabs, mister. Much as you might enjoy giving them, I don't enjoy receiving them. Got another sneaky guy trying to make us think he's taking a nap or something. Some more amber herbs, still useless. Still not going to be using spells on this run. Now you got to be careful up here, because you run out to take care of this guy and grab this item. You don't notice that guy drops behind you. That cleans out this room. Moving on. Now, immediately to our right here, we have a crystal lizard. These little guys are a lot of fun and really annoying. Two titanite shards. Good stuff. I can't remember if their drops are scripted or random in this one. If they're random, then we kind of got the raw end of the deal there. But anyway, they're little guys that when they see you, they turn around and run in the opposite direction, which can be really annoying because they disappear after like 5 or 10 seconds. But you want to try and catch them and kill them, and then they drop lots of upgrade materials. Usually some pretty good ones, too. Ten fire arrows. We'll be using those for a while. That's the elevator to the boss. We're going to use that real quick. Let's just hop up this ladder. You don't hop up. Shimmy up this ladder, whatever. Uh, rest of this bonfire, and we will give that a go. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh, let's go level up first, I guess. Since the load times between here and Majula aren't terrible. And I don't want to risk losing these souls in the boss fight. Let's get some more endurance. And uh, I should probably start putting in the strength to... For some of the things I'm trying to use... Dang it, I didn't want to go back into the whole animation and stuff there. Alright! Hey, I got that. Now on to the boss. Take out this lazy guy. And this patrolman. Hey! 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 Now, now. Down to ten life gems. I should pick up some more of those. Maybe after this boss, when I have a bunch of souls. Am I still blocking? Hey! I'm not blocking! Com or compulsively or habitually or whatever term you would like to use there anymore. Okay. Welcome. Change. We can summon Pate here. I don't really feel the need. I love this cutscene. start things off with this behemoth lumbering at you. Alright, no need to get all jumpy. 
Hey, what did I just say? Wow, this thing does a lot of damage. Ow. And there he goes. Jeez Louise, that tore through him. Never had that easy a time with the giant. Oh well. I won't complain. Soul of the Last Giant and the Soldier Key, which will open up most of those locked doors we've come across now. Wait, can I seriously still summon Pate? That doesn't make any sense. That should be gone. <laughs> it's probably going to disappear here any second. But yeah, jeez. <sighs> yeah, I went down easy. This door, I know I didn't try it before. It's, uh, it's locked, and even the key we just got doesn't open that. In fact... A key from a very different, much later area opens that, and I still haven't really figured out why. Well, when I say I haven't figured it out, I mean I haven't looked it up to see if anyone else has figured it out. Anyway, I reckon let's, uh, oh, nope, nope, you know what, we can get something relatively nice very easily right here. Soldier key. Out there is a big open area with absolutely nothing in it. And nothing we can interact with at the moment. Three more torches. Oh my goodness. They are just throwing those at us. 45 minutes already. And our third ring gradually restores health. It's incredibly slow. I wouldn't. I, there are a million rings I would wear over this. But with only three and four slots, I think we're. Uh, I think we're good for now. Now let's climb back up this ladder. Uh, Malencia should move to Majula now. Hopefully she'll follow us there. Oh, there she, there you go, she disappeared. Right in front of our eyes. Yep, here she is. Let's uh let's stock up on some life gems. Yep, nothing else here I really need. Let's get uh let's see, three hundred apiece. Ten is three oh my goodness. These are actually more expensive in the early game than uh they seem. Later on, you have more than enough there souls to just buy however many you want. And a couple levels. Let's see. We're going to have to put more into strength. And, you know what, let's go 15 and 10. Strength and endurance. Actually, shoot, I probably need to... Ah, I'm not used to these heavy builds. I'm going to have to put points in vitality. That's something I don't think I've ever done in Dark Souls 2. Anyway, uh, that's gonna that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a lot more eventful and maybe meaty than the last episode. If you did enjoy it, please consider hitting the like button. I would really appreciate it. it does a lot of good for me. Uh, feel free to let me know what you think in the comments. In fact, I would encourage you to do so. Um, and yeah, if you'd like to continue as we play through Dark Souls 2 and journey through Drang Lake, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much, once again, and I hope you all have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.